This is the myths and realities of balding in 60 seconds. From celebrities like The Rock or Vin Diesel, all the way to maybe your own grandfather, balding's everywhere. But what causes it? The research actually goes all the way back to Hippocrates and Aristotle, who were the first people to find a link between testosterone and baldness. It's said that bald men are stronger, more energetic, and have more stamina because of the extra testosterone. Unfortunately, that's a myth. Testosterone does play a role, but not in the way that most people think. Baldness is usually genetic, and it comes from your mother's side of the family, so if your grandfather's bald, you may be joining him. Luckily, scientists have identified what's responsible for the hair loss, but what exactly does it do? Our scalps actually have stem cells that keep our hair follicles healthy, but this stuff kills some of those stem cells. All while an enzyme changes regular testosterone into one that actually shrinks hair follicles and limits the nutrients it receives. Put those things together, and you start going bald. Fortunately, scientists realized that if they stopped the stem cell killers, that part of the puzzle would be solved, and we might get to keep our hair. And a drug to do just that will be ready in about two to five years. And that's Science in 60. For more surprising hair facts, check out this video or click the subscribe button for more science in 60 seconds, and we'll see you next time.